I am a very lazy producer. I am not like a super talented musician. I like to think I know enough, but I know what I like. I'm someone who will literally spend the time going through every single preset of a plugin that I buy. I'm buying it because I know it's going to assist me in the creative process. I'm only going to cut this down to like the ones that I think are at least different from the other ones that are good starting points. I apologize if a lot of this is in the same key. <laughs> um, I've only recently got back to playing piano. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. Uh, enjoy the sounds. You know what? It's the trills. It might be these. Let me turn those down. Yeah, that's cool. This one's interesting, like if you play around with the shape filter, um, the lower you put it, the more quick it reacts. I love all those little like fluttery things, it's so cool. Plus factor. keep popping oh my cpu is maxed oh awesome If you haven't figured it out by now, I really like ambient kind of things. Ooh, I love that like silky kind of noise in the background. Oh, it's literally that channel. <laughs> That sounds like the beep when you're at like Walmart and they come on the announcer over the speakers. Uh, we need to clean up on aisle three. Ed to aisle three, thank you. I actually used this for one of the song I released back in like April. Like as a background texture, I really like this one for um, give it some like lift and some air to the chorus. That was cool. One thing I really like about some of these presets is they have like built-in rhythms attached to whatever the sound is. So there's like some like reverse things going on that... I don't know, just percussively it works out and that's... That's really cool because like whatever your tempo is for your DAW, I mean it'll adjust to that when it's applying this kind of rhythm. 
But it's a good inspiration as like if you wanted to start from zero and you're looking for an idea of like a writing session, whatever tempo you pick, you might find something interesting with that, right? This is also one that I used in another song or in that same song. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you know what? I hate it when people do this. Ooh. What I would do here is probably throw in the reverb. Just turn that up quite a bit. Oh, that's kind of haunting. CPU is killing me right now. Another great, like, trilly one. Yeah, that's fun. That's cool. It actually has, like, forest textures in the back. Interesting. It's very specific, but it's cool.
my CPU is doing a backflip. Creamy vanilla. Ooh, that's great for like a top line for a chorus. Great ambient background layer. That's tight. That'd be great for like um, like a live show, like if you're in the middle of like changing songs and you have like some kind of interlude that stops, it's and then like you hop into the next song or something like that, that's pretty cool. Kind of like an arpeggiator with it. It's pretty cool. I like it. Another great like chorus top line. Once you get to the bottom of the list, they have just the raw instruments too. Without much processing going on. And a lot of their strings just sound really good. piano sounds not for the sake of me ever actually using them in context with things it's just I always like the way they sound That was fun. So that was kind of a peek into some of the presets I really like. Let me know your favorite in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos like this where I'm walking through presets, also let me know in the comment section. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Goodbye.